Shayla Hoom. Chuck E. Cheese. Hi, Daniel. Did you roughing the kid up? Yeah. Boys and girls may have your attention. Please join everyone from Santina's birthday party. Don't be pushing him into anything. Okay? I wasn't. I was holding Yeah, leave him alone. He doesn't want to go in that right now. I'll put him in that or something. Put him in there or something. Just do what he fucking wants. Excuse my language.
You can see the temperature. This is live, real-time information now. Temperature is 21, and you can see the wind is relatively light. Generally, let's go back inside and check the traffic with Katina. Thanks, Kevin. Well, of course, traffic is uh, building for an interesting perspective there. We are showing all of the camera angles there. And that one is from the Clark Building on the north side. And Point State Park, of course, let's not forget that. Right across the river, you feel like you're right on top of it, or it's on top of you, and uh, they're going to need to get ready for a little dust still in there, I think, because uh, the wind is heading in their direction. The last look at Three Rivers Stadium, while it's still standing, a virtual who's who of uh, government and politics up here tonight for the mayor's office, deputy mayor, South. Signal each other, yeah. we're only now, let's Kevin. see. Clear. Hey, can I have the plunger, please? Dan Hardy, can you put the plunger online, please? Less than uh, three minutes away now, we're listening to radio frequencies uh, as crews prepare for the big blast. There you see Three River Stadium torn up from the inside, soon to be torn up completely from the inside and the outside as we approach the implosion. This is live from Chopper 11 in our Sky Zoom camera. And you can hear them going through all the checkpoints as they do just in the last few minutes. And we want to remind folks that the, the folks who were selected to push the ceremonial so, uh, plunger will not actually detonate the explosives. There's somebody was, who is well, licensed, who is trained maybe to do this. 15 years ago there, I was like 10 years old. Same time that the Pittsburgh family will push elementary down school, on the ceremonial so. plunger. Yes, a, a woman uh, from this area. 2001, now was elementary school. To do the ceremonial job, she's turning it in over the to 80s, her teenage right. son this morning. So I see one, one power game there, maybe two, if memory serves. Okay, again, I think I see one Steeler game there. Uh, Seeing the Grateful Dead the play there, Rusted Root. Ready. Now, two minutes away, ladies and gentlemen, two minutes away. I made it see Rusted Root. And I was outside the park when I was as a not particularly pretty place. In fact, some have said, yeah, frankly, it's ugly, but it's utilitarian. It got the job done. If it was a legendary place, it wasn't so much because of the way that looked. It was the way the teams played, the great Steelers teams of the 1970s, the Pirates teams that won two World Series, and of course the fans that made that perhaps the loudest venue in all of pro football. And you know when it opened 31 years ago, David, the first season general admission tickets went for $3.15, of course almost 10 times that much now. But when it was originally designed, it was designed to look very much like the new Steelers stadium, crescent in shape with the end zone pointing towards the river and of course the golden triangle but when the bids started to come in it just got too expensive and so this is the result that you see here on your screen three river stadium a round concrete building with no view to the outside that's right that's going to change of course with the new steelers venue uh there are some others that look like that around america riverfront uh, they used to call it in cincinnati the vet in philadelphia the one in atlanta has been <laughs> Look at the bottom of your screen. Holy shit. Three fucking River Stadium just went down like that. You fucking believe that? It's unbelievable. It was a big fucking stadium, man.